What is up everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Welcome back. Hopefully everyone is having an amazing Tuesday, folks. It's still March 28th. XRP is breaking. It is trying to break through that resistance level. This is so exciting. This is happening live during this video. The first video we made of today, you already probably watched. That was released at like 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This video is coming out about 2, 2.30 I told you we had to break through that 50 cent level right now, live. It's doing it, it's going on. We're at 50 cents, we are up 6.45%. I really think that it's all coming down to the tweet I sent out this morning, folks, to Judge Torres, the little the little note to her, to give her that little extra push that we needed her to go forward. But in this video, not only are we gonna talk about the note, we're gonna talk about the diamond bottom, the $10 XRP, where we currently are, where we are sitting. I got an update on this $10 XRP for you. You're not gonna wanna miss out on it. We're going to hear from, uh, what's his freaking face? I forget his name. Um, he's some doctor. But we're going to hear what happens if the dollar loses its dominance. We got a lot to go over. I'm excited. I'm losing my train of thought. XRP 50 freaking cents, folks. Come on, clap it up. We got to hold above 49. This is a great, great sign. Bitcoin currently $26,949 as it has flash green on the hourly. Ethereum, $1,735. It flash green as well, almost up 1%. Remember, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they turn green. They stop pushing up. It's going to bring XRP with it. XRP was already moving by itself. We could get a little extra boost. This is like a little turbo boost for it, right? XRP is coming in at 50 cents. It's up 3% on the hourly and over 6.5% on that 24-hour time chart. Total cryptocurrency market cap, 1 trillion, 149 billion. Bitcoin dominance, 45.34%. We are seeing the Bitcoin dominance go down a tad bit, which is always a good thing. Here's the note. Here's the little love letter. If you didn't like it, you go like it. You give it a retweet. Let's get Judge Torres. Let's get her out there. She's watching. I know she's over there watching. We've had her uh, trending on Twitter before. Say that three times fast. We know XRP, it's coming down to her hands, those beautiful hands of hers, and she is going to make a ruling. Coin does put out this article. It is hot off the press for you. XRP surges to a five months high at some point the Bitcoin commodities mentions. It states the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission accuses XRP of being an unregistered security. But XRP surged over 8% in the past 24 hours to buck a market-wide decline following a CFTC filing against prominent crypto exchange Binance. XRP traded just under 50 cents in Asian morning hours on Tuesday, reaching a five-month high. You heard that correctly, folks. It's been five months since we've seen a 50 cent XRP. It hurts. We're there. Its XRP Legend Network has seen fundamental upgrades in the past few months that may have been contributed to the rise. However, a part of the, bill, the bullish outlook came as some in the community said the classification of major tokens as a commodity in the CFTC file against Binance could mean XRP tokens were two commodities instead of a security as alleged by the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission. Ripple CTO David Schwartz proves to made the case for XRP tokens as a commodity. Since XRP is a raw good that trades in commerce and one XRP is treated as the equivalent to every other XRP. He said that pretty much defines the definition of a commodity. No part of XRP's value comes from anyone else's obligations to XRP holders, he said. He's right. Right? He's 100% right. CZ Binance was sued on Monday as CFTC said Binance offered unregistered crypto derivative products and directed U.S. customers to evade compliance controls through the use of VPN. Listen, it... The CFTC is right. Everyone knows Binance told people to start using VPNs. And that's how people got around it. Everyone knew. But this is exciting news right here, right? Because of the commodities mentioned, this might be helped drive the price. And the fact that the CFTC is saying that, you know, this whole commodities definition now, and Judge Torres might be like, hey, they got a point here. XRP is a freaking commodity. Bitcoin sinks below 27,000 after the CFTC filed a suit against it. It did, 26,9. You know, that's what happens when we got lawsuits. We've seen XRP go from what, $1.96 to 17 cents? Imagine if they actually had a lawsuit against Ethereum, what it would do. 
not just talks, right? We get this. What happens if the dollar loses its reserve currency status? It's very important. And we covered this yesterday. Weekend and welcome back to the circus. With Saudi Arabia announcing it will price oil in Chinese yuan, there was a lot of worry over the weekend about reserve currency status. The fact that the U.S. dollar has been the dominant global currency for 70 years, but looks like it could now lose that status. Even CNN is worried in a rare display of situational awareness, and Fox fretted about Weimar, in other words, hyperinflation. So reserve currency status looks on. All right, sorry, had to re-pick this video up. OBS stopped recording for some strange reason. You might hear a little overlap in this video, but let's get, let's play the rest of this talking about the dollar, what happens if it loses its reserve currency status. And then we're gonna jump into XRP hitting massive news and this diamond bottom. Here we go. A green paper and foreigners give you cool stuff for them. Toasters, luxury cars, copper mines. The problem is who does that profit go to? Who gets paid when foreigners crave the green paper? Unfortunately, it's not you, it's not dollar holders. It's whomever is printing the money. In practice, the Fed, to whom, which means the Treasury benefits, and you guessed it, Wall Street, commercial banks. To see why, imagine if foreigners didn't want dollars. The Fed and the banks could only print a little bit, since printing a lot would create inflation and voters would get really angry. But if foreigners do want crap loads of dollars, the Fed and the banks can print a matching crap load. It's like a river flowing into the money supplied reservoir matched up with a river flowing out to foreigners. The reservoir stays stable and voters don't riot. But notice where the profits went. That river to foreigners didn't go to we the dollar holders. We are the reservoir. We are unchanged. The profits went straight through us to the source of the river, the U.S. Treasury and Wall Street. So, like pretty much everything in our crony financial system, it's a hustle. The American people think they're benefiting from reserve status, but the profits were sucked out and handed to the people who designed the institutional fleecing we call financial system. Now, here's the problem. Here's where Weimar comes in. What if foreigners suddenly don't want dollars? Maybe China is paying them to sell oil in yuan, or maybe the Fed lost the plot and creates too much inflation, that demand, that river flowing out to the foreigners dries up. In fact, it reverses. The dollar starts to lose value. Foreigners worry their life savings and corporate treasuries are melting. They sell out of the dollar. Not only does the river reverse, it goes faster and faster back into the reservoir. The dollar collapses. 70 years of Fed and Wall Street money creation, 70 years of the river flowing into the reservoir. Now you've got all of that coming back in the reservoir. It is like a tsunami. Yeah, which isn't good, folks. It's, it's crazy what's going on right there. Well, what's going on in the world, and you're seeing these countries move away from the dollar. It's, it's crazy times, scary times. I mean, it, maybe it is time the U.S. looks looks at a new type of currency, right? Tim says XRP hits a massive milestone that explains its current market rally. Here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Since March 21st, the digital asset gained over 30%, pushing its price level to something seen, not seen since November. 50 cents, 49 cents, that's what everyone is saying. That's what my chart lined up. Key resistance. Where are we currently at? Let's do a little refresh. Look, we're fighting it. 49950. We are fighting this level, folks. We need to break it. Egret Crypto put this out back in early March. Talks about the diamond pattern. It says the diamond bottom pattern is not a common formation, but it's considered a strong bullish reversal pattern. It can be a strong indicator for impending reversal of the current trend. It occurs when it's predicted by a bearish trend. Here you go. You got the diamond bottom, the breakout. You can see it in here. We're getting to the end. Could be looking for a breakout up to about a $10 XRP. Well, here's the update on it. 50 to 55 cents is also seen in the di diamond bottom bullish formation to be playing a major resistance. For XRP to break out to the upside, 50 to 55 cents must be penetrator. penetrated. I have full conviction that XRP will shock everyone, including the top-notch XRP army and XRP influences. All charts and formations are screaming a, for a breakout. Be patient. Do not rush things. So here's an update on that chart. 
the diamond bottom chart. We are looking for a breakout. We are fighting a heavy, heavy resistance currently at this 50 cent barrier. I mean, we are battling it. It looks like we're going to be battling it all day, but it looks like Bitcoin and Ethereum are starting to push up as XRP is starting to push down just a tad bit. Let's see what happens throughout this day. Let's keep our eyes on this diamond pattern, pattern and the next push up and breakout. Listen, the $10 XRP is going to happen. No one can stop it. No one can fight it. $20 XRP is a $1 trillion market cap. Bitcoin had a $1 trillion market cap. You don't think XRP can have a $1 trillion market cap? Of course it could. The total cryptocurrency market is going to be valued probably 10 plus trillion dollars. There'll be multiple assets that are valued within the trillions. It's that simple. It's going to happen. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.